everyone, Magical Flower Nerd here. I hope all you flower nerds are doing okay and staying safe. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a combination of everything. Now, um, today I've decided I'm going to treat you all. I am, I'm going to release my Berlin video today, tonight, in the next half an hour. Um, today I'm going to be showing you some commentary, as promised, and I'm going to be sharing some of my experiences again from Vita Car and just some of the bits and pieces that I did. Um, I can't wait to get cracking, just a few things. I'm still working on my studio and my merch. Um, things are getting on a little bit slow at the moment. Uh, my hand's doing a lot better, so um, not as better uh, till I can start actually doing studies again. But um, I've definitely been thinking about my practicals and it's given me plenty of time to explore the things that I agree with today. Now, the whole idea of this commentary, I shufty. It's to show you guys how to relax in today's society. Now, um, I realise a lot of people are pulling their hair out, a lot of people are stressed out about the pandemic. And I think sometimes we need to realise that we are allowed to give ourselves five minutes of a break. And some of these ideas are to help you discover what you're capable of, even if it's not one of these ideas. Because I'm going to set you some homework at the end of this video and you will see what that is. But I, I want to show you guys um, you know what we can do also i want to hear what's coming up as well uh i may be doing a textile video on wednesday um i'm going to be working through the next couple of days designing something you again will see that on wednesday so big surprises on wednesday i can't wait to show you so let's get cracking with the videos So this was made actually my second year, but I used more than ink and bleach on this. Um, first off, I was doing about anatomy and zoology, so I was looking into skulls and teeth. And I was using viewfinders and textures and colour finders and colour viewers. So the first one I did was I did a, the skull and I did this out of pen. Then I did um, a textural and tone piece with coffee and coffee staining. And then I used ink and bleach. And then I used ink and bleach and any paper that I could find. And I just worked and worked and worked into this. And this was just my first page. This was after my mind map and being sure that this was definitely what I wanted to do. I did small, um, I did small ideas. I also worked on large scale as well. I actually used full pages and they only look a little bit smaller because I cut them out, I made them more into a presentation like to interest my viewer, to make all the colours and all the connections come together. I also thought like, you know, mixing in different marks and different texture and stuff was really fascinating. I also made like paper cuts, I was working on top of the surfaces and I scanned some of these in and I really really enjoyed this. This was again was my second year so I hope you like it just as much as I do and please feel free to have a look at this. So as you can see, this is my graphics part. Um, I've done my craft, my turtle, and I'm trying out different lights and different colors, different atmospheres. And then I decided to do something totally cool. I decided to do kaleidoscopes. And I literally used different mirrors to just go into different pictures that I, um, that I took around my, my campus. And the results are absolutely amazing. They look botanical in themselves. Um, they just look naturally patterned. This is my bleach piece. I thought I was a wizard when I did this. I literally painted a piece of card black and then I put the bleach on and it turned orangey, brassy yellow. And um, th this was to learn the difference between positive and negative space and how effective it can be in art. And this is also my collage piece, which I assembled weirdly on snapchat and photoshop and i think this is going to be the piece that i may be painting this week so please watch this space okay so that's enough about my experience time to get to the really cool commentary so the first video i'm going to show you is acrylic pouring now we have seen an example of this before 
but I have to show you this one because, oh my gosh, the I'm not even gonna spoil it to you, just check it out. Wow, I don't know about you, but I thought that process was just, it was so therapeutic and I just thought, wow. <laughs> so I am definitely this week gonna have to buy myself some super large acrylics. I just, I love the way everything is poured naturally, that the whole thing was just so natural. It just, everything just fit together. The mood, the colors, the, the oh my gosh, the mixture of the colors and the tones. It just got me so much. So for those who are just starting out, or for those who just love the art, you, you totally understand where I'm getting at, where everything is bonded together. So this is a great thing to mention in your book. So when you are mixing your colours and doing your palettes, especially with acrylics, even if you're just testing out colours, it always it's always great to try out a colour with a black and a white. I'm only saying this once, please avoid using black acrylic because it ruins the whole thing so considering blue is a primary color this is just an example try and mix in dark blues or try and put in some primary other primary colors so try red and yellow with blue but with others you can make an exception with black acrylic so if we're looking into greens maybe we could look at having a tiny little bit of black acrylic and some white acrylic mixing them tones together, even making uh, tone lines where you start from dark to white, they can, that in itself is a great sample. You can also scan these in as well. You can get some really good colour palettes from this. So this is what inspired me from this video. I just love how she makes everything flow. It's almost like the ocean is taking over her art. Like, as she just stand there and you imagine the ocean, you know, the wave is coming in and everything is just just relaxing and the water's going back out making that beautiful sound on the pebbles or the sand and you can almost feel that when everything's flowing you can just almost feel like that, that majestic watery oceany feel you know the artist just gets it right there so the next one i'm going to show you is i'm going to show you some sand art now this one is just out of this world so please like i say just check it out I don't know about you, but I think that would take a great deal of patience. So I actually looked in a little bit about how to do this, because obviously I might give it, well, I will definitely give it a go in the future. And apparently what you do is you get some chalk and some table salt or sand, obviously because it's sand art, and uh, you put the colour of chalk that you want, so say like a blue or um, a yellow, and apparently you just scrape it in or you can shake it in a jar. And you're meant to put it in different, books. you know, obviously don't you separate your colours. And then you get like a little funnel, uh, wrap it around, and then you slowly start to build up in layers. And it just comes together like a pure masterpiece. And it must be really therapeutic. It must be a, a very good way of art therapy. Um, so when I first started art, I considered art therapy because um, when I was going through art, I had a very hard time in my personal life. And I found just literally putting a brush to a paper was really, it almost like it was like a, a fresh breath of air for me. So 
even though I say that I'm not a very patient person, I think definitely trying out something new or something that almost seems like unreal would be so fascinating to do. I mean, I, I've just been sat here stuffing my face with crackers and popcorn because I just found it so interesting how people just thought, you know what, today I'm gonna get a jar and I am gonna put sand in it and I am gonna make it look good. And people have succeeded in this. There are millions of videos on there. Um, I am going to give you the link so you can obviously watch the full thing. There are thousands to watch, but I just think this one in particular is, it's so talented and the art for it, I'm still not over that. So let's see what the next video is about. I think it's gonna surprise you. I just think that is such a super way of especially reusing something so you know I was talking about painting on CDs and stuff so this is exactly what I was on about now I thought this would have been a great idea not just for you to get involved with, but especially those with little brothers or sisters or relatives that are coming over or something to do while we kind of are all stuck indoors to make the place feel a little bit brighter now you know that I am the recycling queen I am go for Greta and you know do it for Greta and do it for us do it for our future but I just think it's such a cute way of recycling especially to make a dream catcher now I don't know if you can see but I am a bit of a hoarder for dream catchers I just think they're so spiritual and so nice to you know keep away dark energy and bring in nice positive energy that's just the hippie lady in me <laughs> but I just think it's such a cute idea. Now, I would really like you guys to have a go. I am totally gonna have a go because I have tons of unused CDs in my room. And I think it would be such a great idea if I just did like a massive load of them. And if you guys could have a go and send me in pictures, I will obviously show it because I know how super talented you all are. So, um, I think I am definitely having a go this week at that. And of course, you know, Wednesday is video day. So if you guys had to vote between a picture, a study drawn, or a dream catcher, which one would you choose? It's going to be a very hard decision and you all will find out on Wednesday which one I will choose because only I will know on Wednesday which one I'm going to go for. So um, personally, I think that's very therapeutic as well. Everything I've shown today has been done for a reason. It's been shown that everything can be done relaxing. I noticed like especially today tensions have been really high and everyone seems really unsettled especially with the pandemic and with negative emotion lots of sadness gone in the world like that and that makes magical flower night very sad so i just wanted to share some videos show that you guys can totally relax and that there is so much you can do out there that some people don't even you know don't even know exist. I mean, I only found out that sand art existed. I, like, I only thought it was just on a board and you drew with your fingers. You know, like when you're a kid and you're making sand castles and I thought that was sand art, but this was taken to a whole new level. So, I, this is Magical Flowered actually saying, set yourself a task. I want you to do something for me. So, I give you the videos and the information. Now, I'd like you to give me feedback. Now, not on, not criticism. Or comments I want you to give me comments about what you found helps you so I found that acrylic pouring drawing on CDs to make dream catches and sand castles are very therapeutic and something that I should definitely give a go to help me relax in such stressful times now your homework this week is to definitely find out what you're interested in and if you do find anything let me know and totally show me and I will totally show you what I'm gonna do this week but you, please share it with me and I would be more than happy and delighted to share it with the world if that's okay with you because I just think that is super brave and super gnarly of you. So, this is me, Magical Nerd, saying stay safe, lots of love you baby, and I hope you're all doing okay and you're staying happy. If you're a little bit upset or you need someone to talk to, Magical Nerd's quite covered. I'm right here. Just give me a message or give me a call. Um, stay safe and keep positive, keep strong, and you know what to do? Give a comment below, give us all a like, more videos coming your way, give me a smile, lots of love you baby.